The Senate back in session this week, the House returning next Tuesday with the first order of business to try to avert a government shutdown. Time is running short. The House is scheduled to meet for just 11 days before the government's fiscal year ends on September 30th. Let's bring in NBC News senior national reporter Sahil Kapoor. His latest reporting titled Senate Unity Puts House Republicans in a Jam over government funding fight. So Sahil, tell us about both sides of this, that unity you mentioned on the Senate side, and then what's going on in the House. Hey, Willie, we've got this rare situation where the Senate is passing appropriations bills overwhelmingly on a bipartisan basis. They've passed all 12 of them through committee, some of them unanimously, and they're going to start to get votes on the floor of the chamber next week. This is in stark contrast to the approach being taken in the Republican-controlled House, where Speaker McCarthy is taking a more partisan tack, using a slim majority to try to advance conservative priorities like cutting spending and attaching uh, other conservative uh, riders to the bills. I spoke to a number of senators about this, and even the Republicans say that McCarthy's approach is going nowhere in the Senate. Uh, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell made that clear, that the Senate's not going to replicate uh, the House's approach. Senator John Thune, the number two Republican, also said that if McCarthy continues to struggle the way the House has been on appropriations bills, they should just take the Senate bills and pass them as is. Some other Democrats feel that way as well. Let's show what Senator John Tester told me about this. These are uh, stark words here. He said, quote, the best thing they could do is take all of the work of the Senate and just pass it because we do better work. I say that partially in jest, but it, it's a fact. He went on to say uh, they should not be playing games like shutting down the government. Let's get this done. These are fighting words from an appropriator from a red state. Now, how does Speaker McCarthy feel about all of this? His house is coming back into session next week, and they don't have much time uh, to get appropriations bills through. They've only done one. They have a lot of them to go. The first order of business for McCarthy is getting his members on a short-term government funding bill because the September 30th deadline is simply not realistic to meet for a, a larger appropriations deal. A spokesperson for McCarthy said that the speaker will not support any kind of plan to jam against the holidays that would allow Senate Democrats to gain leverage. That spokesperson went on to tell me that McCarthy has made clear any short-term CR would only be necessary as a way to continue working through regular order. They're selling it as a, a means to advance these Republican priorities, to keep the, the leverage that the House has so they don't get completely jammed by the Senate in the way these senators want to. The problem with that is he's got this band of hardline conservatives on his right who are rebelling against even the idea of a short-term government funding bill unless they add a whole bunch of their priorities that cannot realistically pass the Senate. One member of the House Freedom Caucus said McCarthy's job could be at stake in this entire fight. Let's play what Ken Buck said. He's only going to pass something with Democrat votes, and that's what's going to put him at risk for the motion to vacate. I don't see him, I don't see the Speaker getting enough Republican votes uh, for a continuing resolution in, in, in the next few weeks to be able to pass that uh, continuing resolution. And a motion to vacate, by the way, is simply parliamentary speak for a vote to overthrow the Speaker of the House. McCarthy can lose no more than four votes before uh, a bill collapses or, in the Republican conference, his speakership uh, collapses as well. There's going to be a, a, a big challenge ahead in the coming weeks for Speaker McCarthy on the issue of government funding. Guys. And as you say, the clock is ticking and ticking fast.